Doctor, I bring in all the wishes and greetings from the entire Speed faculty team and the Speed team to you for scoring a very good performance and a rank in NEET SS 2021 of DM Endocrinology rank number 20 and DM Rheumatology rank number 24. Congratulations and best wishes to Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, can Thank we know a little, yeah, can sir. we know little background of your uh, uh, medical career from graduation till date? Yes, sir. I'm from Kerala and I did my MBBS from Government Medical College in Trivandrum and MD Medicine from Government Medical College Kote. And uh, special interest for uh, uh, endocrinology or rheumatology, which is the first option for you? Sir, actually, I only prepared for endocrinology. Rheumatology, I simply wrote. Okay, okay. And uh, an interest towards endocrinology is because of any special reasons? Uh, sir, actually, when I, I have I did my PG at, at uh, around six years ago, uh, and at that time I had no interest in anything. I, did, I had not yet figured out what I wanted to do. But afterwards, when I started working, and I worked in multiple institutions, right from a community health center to a medical college, and that is when I discovered that I am gravitating more towards endocrinology cases. So I, then I tried to attempt. Excellent, excellent. Now, can you uh, share uh, your experience of your preparation? Uh, how did you prepare? When did you start? Uh, the course of preparation made you to land up in a very good rank. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, actually I had written the uh, NEET SS 2020 also. But that time I did not have any, uh, much time to prepare. I just read Harrison once and I got only 106 uh, in endocrinology. So then uh, right from the... Uh, uh, month of counseling that was in December and when I realized that I'm not going to get any admission I started preparing a little bit but that time I was working from March onwards uh, I quit my job and uh, focus fully on studies and that was the time I uh, subscribed to speed and from the time I took my speed sub subscription I haven't even opened my books I only uh, used the apps and it was so good and then uh, as you know sir the exam got postponed so many times so I got quite a lot of time to sleep Excellent, excellent. Now, uh, I mean, were you working and preparing together or uh, what was the time duration of preparation per day and uh, sir, how many revisions uh, were you able to do? Sir, uh, actually I quit my job in March and from then onwards I wasn't working anywhere but I am also a full-time mother so it was not like I had all my time for studies. It was only in December that I could allot all my time for studying. That is when my parents took over my child. Um, Till then, I tried to study uh, around 12 hours per day, but then I could only manage around 6 or 7 because of my child's online classes and everything. Uh, but from December onwards, uh, sir, actually, I attended, uh, I saw, I watched your motivation video, which you posted about how to prepare in the last minute. And uh, then you said that some, uh, there was a doctor who uh, studied 20 hours a day for 15 days and he got into cardiology. And I got really inspired by that. And so... Uh, from December 1st onwards, I also studied for 20 hours a day. And I was, I'm not a really organized person, so I made multiple timetables, but I wasn't able to uh, stick to any of them. But I think I could manage at least three revisions. Excellent, excellent. How many questions were you able to attend the exam? Um, so, uh, yes, sir, I think I uh, attempted more than 90% of the questions. Excellent. But sir, the exam was very confusing and it was all concept-based questions. So I did not know whether I was writing the right answer or not. And uh, I did not even get enough time to uh, recheck my answers. So I, I, after the results came, I wasn't sure that I will get the rank. Okay. Doctor, uh, can we also know um, from you, what is the message that you want to give to the aspirants of uh, DM Endocrinology future? So my uh, my honest opinion is that if I can do it, all of you can do it because I'm like I'm not at all a fresher. I uh, I spend at least six years out of touch of my uh, books, and then I'm also you know I also have family uh, commitments and everything. But then it's still doable. I mean, when I started my preparation, I thought that it was only possible for freshers and uh, uh, people who can devote all their time for this. But actually, you can also do it. And more than that, I think most important is we, we should know how to prepare for so for that you will need some guidance like, uh, for example, the speed, speed app, the teachers are excellent and if you have some kind of guidance, then you know what to study and everything. So uh, try to be focused in your preparation and uh, over the last two years, they are asking more of concept-based questions and less of one-liners. 
so maybe uh, you should practice more and more such mcqs so that you get enough time to uh, attend the questions and everything uh, other than that i don't know so maybe just subscribe to a, a good coaching platform and uh, trust in the teachers yes excellent and uh, and time to thank and uh, i mean whom you want to thank who have uh, helped you to make yes, your career so far you can do so yes sir uh, apart from my family i mean they always supported me uh, my um, whole hearted thanks to all the faculty in speed especially kartikeyan sir for medicine and um, manasa ma'am who took endocrinology um, tables and images she was extremely helpful in revising all the important things and uh, all the other faculty sir excellent excellent very good doctor uh, once again i will bring you all the wishes and greetings to you for a great career in endocrinology and for your contribution to the specialty of endocrinology and also for the patients who are going to treat uh, they all going to be benefited because of your immense service for all that advance wishes congratulations and great career for you thank you sir thank you sir it's a great humbling privilege to be congratulated by somebody like you sir and thank you so much for uh, being the brain behind speed thank you thank you